Okay, so this lesson we're going to talk about mitosis. So it's an extremely important process um, that you're going to definitely need to know at any type of field in biology. Um, so let's get on with it, shall we? So what we're going to do is ultimately I'm going to tell you like when you use mitosis, um, the process of mitosis, and kind of how the cells look at the very end of mitosis. Um, okay, so here we go. All right. <coughs> so what mitosis is, essentially, it's just making new cells. Okay, you have one cell, cells need to divide, make new cells, mitosis. Okay, just making new cells. Start with one, by the end, you have two cells. Now, the reason this is important, as much as this is like an exaggeration, your cells aren't purple and weird like that, I hope, um, but this picture shows you that in the end, the two cells that you have are exactly the same as the cells in the beginning. So if this started off with 45 chromosomes, well, that wouldn't happen, so let's say 46, then these of each have 46. If this has 90, these of each have 90. So like, they're exactly the same at the very end, because the whole point of it is, um, whenever you go through mitosis, and we're going to talk about in a little bit, like if you get a cut or you're growing um, and you grow new cells, you want them to be exactly the same as they started before. You wouldn't want all weird new cells afterwards. They have to be exactly the same. So new cells are exactly the same at the end of mitosis. Um, when mitosis happens, like I said, is anytime a body cell basically needs a new cell. Um, and it's happening all the time like right now if you look at your hands and what's going on inside your body like it's constantly going through this mitosis so whether you realize it or not um, mitosis is happening and like if you like were to scratch yourself or maybe some like dead skin falls off new skin is constantly coming in there to take its place through mitosis so constantly happening throughout your body the two main areas you see mitosis as you see this picture here over and over again is when you were really, really tiny, let's say when you were a little itty bitty baby, and now you are way bigger, okay? Like you, your cells didn't get bigger, it's not like you had tiny cells and now you have huge cells. You just have a whole lot more cells now than you did seven years ago when you were, you know, yay big and now you're yay big. So when you grow, okay, that's mitosis. Essentially, it's one of the main ways you see mitosis. The other, as you can see from our little visual, I think this is tangled or something um anyway in this there's like magic but um when you get a cut it's not magic that heals you it is mitosis so when you get a little cut in your hand your foot wherever in like a week later the cut's gone okay it just seems to magically disappear but really what's happening is you cut the skin and then mitosis comes in makes some brand new cells and repairs the old uh, tissue so top two areas you see mitosis is when you're growing and when you get a cut or repairing any type of tissues that kind of thing all right, now let's get a little bit more in depth to talk about the chromosomes. So here you have a cell. In our little example here, there's a pair of chromosomes, two chromosomes. <coughs> Excuse me. And you know that when a cell goes through mitosis, you get two cells that are exactly the same. So start with two chromosomes. This cell has two chromosomes. This cell has two chromosomes, okay? That's the end result. But something shouldn't make sense to you, like mathematically speaking. Like you start with two, one, two, you end with one, two, three, four. Like that doesn't make any sense. So this is important to know. Something happens before mitosis. So the cell hangs out. What happens is the chromosomes duplicate. And that's why you see the chromosomes look like these little X's because they've duplicated. So really you have one, two chromosomes. And you kind of think of it this way. Now you have one, two, three, four chromosomes which then allows it to go through mitosis and split into cells that are exactly the same. If they didn't duplicate, then the final result would just be one cell at the, or one chromosome at the end, which is not identical. So chromosomes duplicate before mitosis happens in order to ensure that the end result is exactly the same as the beginning. Now, now we get into the stages of mitosis. So this gets into some words and some fancy stuff. It explains really what's happening inside the cell to the chromosomes. There's four main phases we're going to talk about and a couple that are after mitosis. So here we go. Ideally, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do what I'm about to do. So this is a video. I'll start it now. So this is a video of a cell going through mitosis. Let me turn the lights off. Maybe it'll be a little easier. I guess I'll keep the lights off for the rest because that's probably easier. Anyway, so the chromosomes start to appear, and that's called prophase. Now they're kind of lining up in the middle, okay, of the cell. That is called metaphase. And don't worry, I'll go over all this. Once they line up, then you see that they're pulled apart to separate ends. That's called anaphase. And then a little nuclear um, envelope starts to appear, and you get two new nuclei, two new cells, and you're starting to go through telophase. 
Okay, and then there's something else after that. But ideally, you'll be able to say that chromosomes appear at prophase, line up in the middle of metaphase, get pulled apart in a phase, two new cells start to appear at telophase for now. So let's slow it down for a second. Let's go step by step. Here's a nice little picture. So first, like I said, is prophase. That's the first thing that happens. The chromatin coils up into these chromosomes and they get their shape. Okay, the reality is there's a lot of stuff that happens in each phase. I'm going to try to just tell you like one main thing that happens because that's really all I want you to know. Prophase, chromosomes get their shape. Then happens metaphase. All the chromosomes line up in the middle. So if you remember M for middle, you'll remember M for metaphase. Metaphase, middle. They all line up in the middle. Then the spindle fibers, these things here, they pull the chromosomes apart. They grab the central mirror and they pull it apart during anaphase. So if you remember A apart for anaphase, this will help you remember this stage. And the final stage is called telophase, and two new cells start to form. You see how the, the new nuclei, a new nuclei, it's pretty much the end of the process and two new cells start to form. So you remember T for telophase, you remember two new cells start to form. And that's mitosis. I know that was quick. Um, you'll see I've given you a bunch of different videos and stuff to look at that are way more animated and stuff than I'm doing. But that's the four main stages. One last thing to know before we wrap this up. Okay, I'm sorry, before I say this. I recommend you do is go back to when I just played that video, I don't know, like a minute ago, and play it and maybe mute my voice and then see if you can just go through all the phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, as the video is playing. Okay. Cells aren't always just going through mitosis. They're not constantly splitting every second of the day. This looks complicated, and in high school you'll probably have to know all this, but for now what I want you to see is this. This is mitosis happening here, and this is basically what the cell is always just kind of doing normally. It's kind of called interphase. It's pretty much just kind of hanging out, which we'll talk about. And this is another phase we'll talk about. But Mitosis is just like part of the process. Most of the time, the cell is not going through mitosis. And said, if you're into the in-depth biology, pause this you know, video right now and take a look at what it's doing at the other points. But there's interphase and cytokinesis, which I'm gonna explain right now. So the two other phases that a cell can be going through that's not mitosis is cytokinesis, which is after it goes through telophase, it finally splits into two new cells, okay? And that's called cytokinesis or it could be going through interphase, which is what you saw it's going through most of the time, and that's just kind of when the cells will say hanging out, not doing a whole lot. And there is stuff that happens during interphase for sure um, that you will eventually have to know, but this is a video about mitosis. I just want you to know that there's four stages of mitosis. After it splits, it goes through cytokinesis, splits it, and then basically hangs out interphase until it's ready to go through the whole process all over again. All right, that's mitosis. It's cool, it's exciting, I think. It's crazy that cells can do this and it can just kind of line themselves up and are so amazing. Um, hopefully you share a little of that excitement now. Um, but like I said before, there's tons of other resources that are available out there about mitosis, videos, websites, stuff like that, so check them out. Um, okay, hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit about mitosis.